Hello and welcome back to Spyro Season of Ice. We're continuing where we left off and uh, this is another one of those fun alternative gameplay uh, videos, which one of which we've already done, but this will be the second. Uh, we are going to be playing Ice Age Speedway, which is a speedway in the mould of the first one, Stone Age Speedway, where I fly along in a lovely Mode 7 world, shooting enemies and running out of time. Um, and yeah, this is... Uh, you cannot get through to the end on the first try with speedways. It is basically impossible. The point is to collect gems by shooting the purple bats. Um, I'm doing particularly badly at that even now. Right. Gems. Lovely gems. Tasty gems. If you can get 90% plus in the gems, which I am thus far manifestly failing to do, um, you can normally get it on the second try, as I did with the uh, Stone Age Speedway, but might not be the case here. There is, uh, uh, it's kind of fun doing these. If they were less hard, they're just so punishingly difficult. I can't think who thought that was alright. But, uh, oh well. Woo, enemies! Woo, gem! Right, I'm, uh, again, not going to complain particularly about, uh, about getting money, but at the same time, it would be nice if there was a way to get money and beat the level on the first try, for those of us who were capable of doing so. Right. Ah, rings. Yes, this this level goes in a different order to uh, to what we played before. There's no bonuses for going through these rings, which of course makes the level nigh on impossible because it takes a second to go to go through each one. Oh, why am I getting bloody aliens? They hit me. It's not fair. They're ugly aliens too. Whoa! See, I have to wait till they go back. It's not not cool. <sighs> right. Fortunately, when I play this in the future, there will be yellow versions of all these enemies, which will give me extra time, which will make the level beatable. I'm probably going to die before the boss. Oh no! Here's the boss. Bosses, I should say. Ah. Which I cannot beat in the remaining 20 seconds, but I'll give it my earnest best. Oh, that's one. Oh, can I do it in 10 seconds? Almost certainly not. Nine. Nine. No, I have not done it, and I won't. Oh. Yep, try again this time. It shouldn't be too hard, actually. I'll, uh, I'll manage to do it with minimum lost time since I actually get bonuses. Um, I've also managed to get most of the uh, most of the treasure here. <sighs> right, so normal it is, and then I'll be doing it on hard mode. But as you saw before, hard mode is not not much more difficult. It's just the same thing. Purple. Right, I am going to still be going for the purples because I want to get as much treasure as possible, as I've as I've stated before. I cannot, for the life of me, hit the uh, hit the yellow bat. But I think the only thing with hard mode is the penalties are tougher and that everything moves faster, but uh, it's not so much. It's not that bad. My uh, button mashing thumb is getting kind of sore, but oh well. Woo! Lovely extra time. None of which we got during the uh, first time we played this level, since it was all about the gems. All about the money, 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 as uh, Jesse J would sing. Not for a second that you should think I'm culturally aware. Oh, missed an extra time. Oh well. If I if I lose this by one second, I can blame that on, on that. But otherwise, me. Woo! Time bonuses. And these rings are the easiest bit of the whole level, so extra time galore. Might even get up to 115 at this rate. No, actually, it's still going down. Right, enemies to kill, money to get. Probably some money to get. I think there's a yeah, there's a purple I missed. A couple of purples I missed. Uh, still one I missed. Woo! Extra money. All right, extra time. Come on, get out of it, aliens! I can uh, fight the boss. Ah, bosses again. I've um, 
by the way, been playing um, more of Sniper Elite 2, and at time of recording I just finished it. Um, I thought I hadn't finished it, I thought it was about halfway through the game. Um, it's very short, that's the problem. I think I really like the game, and the gameplay is really fun, although really gory. But, uh, no, in no way would I recommend it for someone who's looking for a long, involved experience. I think they're trying to make it all about the multiplayer, which I think is a mistake. Yay, I beat, I beat it and got uh, Leora. And now I've, uh, there are still some gems I need to get. So I will have to do redo normal mode at some point because there aren't gems on hard. But you don't need to see that, I'll do it off screen. Because um, you've seen normal mode already. So this will be less about the money, money, money. And more about the um, something. I can't remember the noises Jesse J makes in that song. It'll be less about the price tag though. More about the body count, which I don't think was her intention. I've always found that song a bit troubling, um, from a from a uh, honesty point of view, because it's a commercially released song. If she'd really wanted to make a point about the commercialization of the music business or whatever, it could have been uh, it could have been released free or like a pay what you want kind of thing. Because um, then it isn't about the price tag. But but uh, I have my suspicions that uh, Jesse J's involvement in the song's production was fairly limited, and uh, you know it ticked all the right boxes. It was catchy, so I can't complain about it too much. But uh, nonetheless, you know it's one of those things that gets on my nerves. It's come to my attention um, <laughs> with the past several videos. I've had the mouse cursor visible on screen, um, for which I profusely apologise, um, but I don't apologise to the extent where I'm going to re-record hours of video. Um, I mean, I I don't know if I'm the exception or the rule here, but when I watch Let's Plays, I don't really look at the gameplay very much. I tend to sort of whack on the voiceover and, uh, and do something else. Um, but maybe that's just me. I think I also, I, the, the Let's Plays I listen to are sort of podcast style. So, um, that might be a feature of them rather than a general thing. Maybe you do all want to see the gameplay and you want to see it unsullied by the mouse cursor. Um, which I cannot blame you, but, you know, about which I cannot do much. 30 seconds to kill these guys. But we've got the strategy down now. It's just a case of uh, mashing A and B together until you kill them. Right, one down. 15 seconds to go. These uh, dragon things... I don't get what the design is based on, because they look like no other enemy in the game. They also don't look like any of the Rhinox, which, which um, you might expect them to. Right! Done it with three seconds left. Right, that's the second fairy, Naomi. Um, so yeah, we're going to um, exit, and then we're now we're going to do another Sparks level, because they're lots of fun. Um, no, exit. I do not want to do another Speedway. They are the most frustrating part of this game. Um, okay, but... Uh, now we can proceed over to money bags. I can't remember where money bags is in this level, but uh, I believe he is located over in a this way direction. I think he's by the castle bit near the start of the level. I don't remember. Like over here, maybe. No. <laughs> okay. I still don't understand why there are, like, health items in the overworld, since you can't get hurt. I mean, unless it's a case of wanting to uh, replenish your lives by just killing them endlessly, which you could do. Oh! Uh, um, Sparks certainly is. 600 gems, we can, uh, we can pony up that. So, uh, onwards. And, uh... The this isn't too bad. Um, oh, it's uh, pretty much the same as the first level, but with a, a bit more, a um, bit of a different uh, layout. But still, at hills to blow up, and uh, very difficult enemies and uh, gems to collect. None of which I'm complaining about. Ah, but there's a shield on these, which is harder because it means you need to destroy a shield generator as I recall. I can destroy them though because those little homing bastards are more annoying than a normal ant. Which you can simply blast like that. 
we're uh, managing so far to avoid too much death, though. Maybe you can't blow up the uh, shield in Ant Hill. Maybe that's just endlessly respawning. I think there is a way to do it with... Ah, the smart bomb. Yes, here we go. Boom. Oh. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm an idiot. However, I do have the key to this, so I can... Uh, I can rain fire on my enemies. I don't know why um, the dragonflies have such a thing against the ants, but uh, or indeed why the uh, dragonflies are so tiny, considering a dragonfly is significantly larger than an ant. Um, but whatever, it's a video game. You idiot, as someone might say to me, if they were not of the persuasion that likes watching, uh, likes watching these things. I don't know what this power up does, but I have 30 of it, so I'm going to assume it's some sort of machine gun thing. Uh, red door, come on. That's a purple. That's a red. Ooh. Bam, 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 bam. But I'm gonna go and destroy this anthill first, just because I think it's gonna cause me problems later if I don't. Oh, a blue butterfly it would go great right now. Ah, no, this is some sort of machine gun thing. Ah, okay, yes, alright. We'll, uh, uh, we'll die, because... Okay, scattergun. It uh, is not, yeah, not then the most useful weapon in the world, but we've got a lot of it, so we might as well use it. Come on, come and get some. Right. Ah, I've got ammo replenishment there as well. Um, I prefer to just strafe up and down and, uh, and damage my enemies like that, but whatever. I think that's a homing attack. Now we can have access to the green areas. Really need a blue butterfly though, since um, it would be very nice not to die. Oh, come on. Seriously, where are we going? I can't find the green door. Maybe it's down here. Extra ammo never goes amiss. Yeah, here it is. Ah, there are, of course, enemies who are going to kill me if I don't get to that butterfly. Ah! I'll blow that up first, and I have a feeling destroying this other nest is going to be more difficult because I've got hardly any health. Um. <sighs> there we go. Destroyed before it did me too much harm. Whoa, but those guys are intending on doing me harm. Right, um, nope. Ah, these are, oh, bugger. Right, well, get some. Let's see if we can charge through. No, we can't. Die. Okay. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Oh, this is just bad. Oh, I think it takes me to where I got the last key. That's not so not so much. But the the ant hills respawn, um, which doesn't bring me much fun. I'm just gonna escape. Woo! You can't catch me. I'm the dragonfly man. And I've got health now. Wee. Okay, more strafing. Got a bit more health going into this now. Not too bad. Come on, I don't even know what that does. I just know I should probably blow it up because it makes the blowy up sound effect. Ooh, I might actually live now. This is what we call indiscriminate fire. <sighs> okay. So health and a smart bomb. I don't. I like the look of this. I'm going to obviously deploy that going into the boss arena. Okay, so seven hits. Oh, and another one. Don't mind if I do. Might as well deal him some damage while we can. Oh, it's a bee this time. Oh, after all our trouble with bees in the last episode, I'm, dis I'm disinclined to be nice to them. But uh, oh well. 
Uh, let's just hit the boss. His little cronies can't do me much harm. Bet they're going to kill me now. Seriously, why won't this guy die? He's taken loads of hits. Ooh! Don't mind if I do. He's not pleased with me now. Still, he's taking hits. Can't complain. Let's just use up all this. Yay! We beat him and we rescued Jody and never have to go into that level again. Um, or at least, probably not. There are still gems to collect, but I frankly can't be bothered. Right. So, there we go. And next time we're going to advance to the Spring Fairy home, which will be nice. And um, then you can glory in the sunshine for the first time in a few episodes. Um, especially if you live in the Southern Hemisphere, where it is actually winter as well as just in the game. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.